there is this feeling yeah. that America, and I know no politician ever says this, oh, but there is a feeling out there you, that America has seen better days. You know what? We, we have uh, the National Governors Association, as you know, gets together a couple times a year, one, one time here in Washington. And I was at a, an NGA meeting, uh, Candy, a few years ago when someone, one of the presenters, asked that question of all the governors sitting around the room, and everybody was there. And he said, how many of you are better off than your parents were? And lots of hands went up. In fact, I think everybody's hand went up. And then he asked, how many of you think that your children will be better off than you? And very few hands went up. So it's not that politicians won't say it, or it, maybe they'll just say it silently. They try not to campaign on it, I think. No, of course not. Yeah. Of course not. But, you know, I, I feel like, the, like our, our greatest lurches forward in history in this country has been, have been when, when uh, we have set goals for ourselves as a nation. And one of the great tensions I see right now, and I see it coming mainly from the Tea Party, is that it, they're ra they raise real questions about whether we, we want a nation rather than an, a loose association of states. And there's a difference. It seems to me we ought to have, and it's not that uh, the federal government should set all goals, but there are certain fundamental goals around global competition in particular and, uh, and around those uh, American ideals I talked about, particularly opportunity, that we should reach, and I believe can in time, reach consensus again at the federal level. 